If you've ever spent more than two seconds wondering when the narcissist will get his or her karma, this video is for you. Because in this video, we're going to walk through seven things that you have that a narcissist will never have, no matter how much they want them, no matter how much they try to get them. And by the end of this video, you will see why the very nature of being a narcissist is in fact the narcissist's karma. My name is Christina and this channel is dedicated to helping you recognize and deal with the after effects of emotional abuse. So if that's something that has touched your life, consider subscribing because you'll find a whole lot of helpful information right here. And if you think you are dealing with a narcissist, I do have a free download that can help you figure things out with a checklist for each phase of narcissistic abuse. And now let's jump into the seven things the narcissist will never have. So the first thing a narcissist will never have is a true and genuine relationship. Now, other people may think that they're having a true and genuine relationship with a narcissist before they really see them for who they are but a narcissist on their end cannot connect in the way that they would need to in order to have a true relationship. Because as we know, a true relationship is about give and take, and a narcissist is only about take. So the narcissist really is stuck in this cycle of seeking supply. And so they want people to adore them. They want people to love them. They really do want your love and affection, your admiration. But the problem is that relationships are a two-way street. So as soon as somebody sees that they're not getting really anything in return out of a relationship with a narcissist, things are going to start to fall apart pretty quickly. And usually what happens is that the discard phase sets in well before that person really realizes what's going on and would even think about up and leaving. But if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, around the time you start realizing that you're not getting what you're giving is around the time when a narcissist will start to devalue you. Somewhere deep down, they know they can't have that true, genuine relationship. And at this point, it has to be your fault that they can't have it. It cannot be their fault. So you become the enemy when you were once put on a pedestal. Another thing that a narcissist will never have, at least not a lot of, is empathy. Narcissists do lack emotional empathy. So they lack the ability to have that true human connection. They can understand that you have feelings and they can understand why you might have those feelings, but they lack the ability to connect with them. And even if they would have the same emotions in the same situation, they see it in you as weakness. And the reason they see these emotions as weaknesses is because they're only thinking about themselves and their perspective. And they see your emotions as something that they can and likely will exploit. So similarly, narcissists also see vulnerability as a sign of weakness. And this is also something that they will never have. And the reason why they won't have vulnerability is because they aren't connected to those parts of themselves. If you've known a narcissist for long enough, you know that they're not really capable of any deep level of self-reflection. And so they're not accessing those deep levels of emotions. With a narcissist, there's so much that is suppressed because they really need to see this grandiose version of themselves that they've built up in their heads, this perfect version of themselves that can't be wrong and can't have all those human flaws that the rest of the world is plagued with. So now let's dig a little bit deeper into that self-reflection. A narcissist really does lack the self-awareness necessary to improve and better themselves. Because after all, if you're already perfect, or if you think you're already perfect, if you know everything, then there's nothing left to learn you think you're perfect, there's nothing left to improve. And this really stands in the way of having a healthy relationship with anyone because we all make mistakes. We're all human and flawed. And self-development is a lifelong process. Once you feel like you've gotten to the point where, okay, I'm done, I'm healed, I'm fully developed, I have nowhere else to go, that's when you're in trouble. Because even when you're healing wounds from the past, even when you're unpacking some maybe bad behaviors that you've had and addressing them and moving forward, there's always new stuff that's added to the mix. 
And there's new stuff that's kicked up in the dirt as you start doing that healing work. So if you're on this journey, if you're doing the healing work, understand that it is a process. And this is why it's really important to have patience with yourself. We're not looking for the goal. This is definitely a journey, but it's a journey that a narcissist will never go on because they cannot. It's very painful for them to have that level of self-reflection. So another thing that a narcissist will never have is the ability to fully trust another. And for this one, I always go back to empathy. And I know for me how difficult it is to understand what it's like to live without empathy or to live with a severe deficiency in empathy. So understanding the mindset of a narcissist is very difficult for someone who has a healthy amount of emotional empathy. But I believe the reverse is also true. So somebody who does not have a healthy amount of emotional empathy would find it very difficult to understand what it's like to have that healthy level of emotional empathy. So they don't really understand the feelings behind it and how that empathy can drive you to make decisions and it can keep you from becoming a ruthless narcissist. But if you think that everyone has the desire to get ahead no matter what and the ability to be a ruthless narcissist, then you're really going to have trouble trusting anyone. And with this, I will add, I know a lot of you watching this right now have some trust issues because you have encountered a narcissist. And that is completely understandable. But having trust issues doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to trust. If you've ever considered yourself a trusting person and have scaled back on that because you've been hurt, then you definitely have the ability to be trusting. And your lack of trust becomes a choice. With a narcissist, it's not so much a choice. It is really their worldview that they believe that anyone can and probably will act the way they do if given the chance. And in reverse, we can see how we end up trusting narcissistic people and then getting hurt because it's difficult for us to believe that they would be as ruthless, that anyone who ever cared about you could be so ruthless. When it comes to empathy, it's hard to wrap your head around what you don't have and what it's like to be in their shoes, which is interesting because that's essentially what empathy is. So you might say that having empathy for someone who doesn't have empathy is the biggest empathetic challenge there is. And I'm not saying you need to, just an interesting observation. Another thing that a narcissist will never have is authenticity. And this one can be a little bit surprising because if you think about what authenticity is and what authenticity looks like, sometimes it looks like a narcissist is just totally being truly their authentic self because they don't care what other people think. But that's actually not authenticity. And I think this is a really good lesson that we can learn from narcissists. You can not care what other people think and not be you also. You see, somebody who does not have the ability to self-reflect and the ability to be truly vulnerable cannot be authentic because in those things you will find authenticity. A narcissist really projects and believes in a false version of themselves, a version of themselves that is perfect. And we know that no one can be perfect. A version of themselves that is better, superior to everyone else. And we know that that's not reality. And so if it's not real, it's not authentic. And another thing that a narcissist will never have, and this one really speaks to the element of karma, and that is genuine happiness. Narcissists are always looking for external validation, and this is what we call narcissistic supply. And it can look different for different people. Sometimes it's a romantic partner. Sometimes they bury themselves in their work. There are lots of different ways that a narcissist can get narcissistic supply. But all it is essentially is external validation. And we've all fallen into the trap of seeking or getting too wrapped up in external validation. So if you can relate to that, you probably understand very well that external validation 
brings something that feels like happiness, but it is extremely fleeting. So you will get a dopamine hit from that external validation. But when the external validation leaves, so does the dopamine. So do all of those good feelings. And then what you're left with is yourself. As the saying goes, no matter where I go, there I am. You can't run away from your problems and you can't run away from yourself. So if all you're doing is seeking external validation and you're not doing any inner work to help improve your own internal well-being, it's not genuine happiness and it's not sustainable. And this is why narcissists constantly seek that external validation. This is why they are so driven to seek supply because without the supply, what are they left with? There's really nothing there. They don't allow themselves the vulnerability to dig deep and even feel the negative emotions for too long. And they don't have that deep-seated happiness that they might be after. So they have no choice but to continue seeking external validation. And when that validation seems boring to them, or if they're not getting as much validation as they wanted or needed in that moment, that's when they're going to start to devalue and discard because they have to move on to the next. They have to keep going, keep running towards that new source of supply. And when you're with a narcissist, it feels like you're on a hamster wheel. Like no matter what you do, you can't get ahead. This relationship that you're desperately trying to save for whatever reason, it just goes nowhere. It just keeps going. You just keep spinning. And I suspect that the narcissist life kind of feels the same way. That hamster wheel, it's a little bit different for them, but it's a deep drive for that external validation, for that supply. And they just have to keep going, keep running towards it in hopes that they will get it and that they will feel it. And they don't. But the good news is if you feel like you're on your own hamster wheel with a narcissist, you can get off. If you have the things that we talked about here today and you have the ability to get off that hamster wheel and you have the ability to find that genuine happiness. And so instead of waiting for the narcissist to get their karma, understand that they're already living it, that it is not fun to be a narcissist, even if they want to project that to you. And that the very things that they hate, the very things that they see as weaknesses in you, are the very things that contribute to your overall well-being. And if you want to know what those things are, watch this video right here.